Hello everybody, welcome again uh, to Ascent of Tzfat. Happy to have you, Rabbi Mo, in our holy city. As you can see, these beautiful mountains behind me and uh, waiting for you to come visit. For sure, we're, well, we're approaching a very special month, the month of Elul, as we mentioned last week a little bit. I need the Dodi Vidodi Li, but now we're gonna take it, I think, to the next place and understand how we get to the level of this completion of I am my to, I am to my beloved and my beloved is to me. You want to understand it on a deeper level so you, you understand that the famous example that's brought down from our holy Hasidic masters that the king is in the field in this month. So how do we understand that? We understand that the king is not only in the field, but he, he is much, uh, much more powerfully understanding that, that this is the time to come and arouse the Jewish people to return to their roots. And he's given us this month to be able to do it. And he comes down from his palace. He takes his royal garments off. He takes his crown off. He takes all the royalty that he has and he just brings with him his 13 attributes of mercy that he reveals to us. And he says, now it's for you to come into it and you get these incredible 13 attributes of mercy. You bring it down and you're able to see, wow, that's incredible. Now God is showering me with such mercy and kindness and goodness. And I may be a little far, I'm not sure how close I am to God. You know, I may be even in what we call, in Hasidic terms, they call it uh, a midbar, uh, a little distant place, but I want to come to the field to greet the king, so I have to have some arousal, I have to have some connection, and then once I have the connection, so then, then, I, can, then I can show you that the connection is because I've taken a step forward, I've done some introspection, I've looked into myself, I've looked deeper into my soul, into my spirit, see who I am, and say that this is amazing, you know, wow, I have a part of God in me, it's such a beautiful thing, and I have to polish it and shine it, and, and renew it again, and look into it, and see, now is the time, the king is in the field, I, all I have to do is go out and greet him, and to say, oh, here I am, Shalom Aleichem, welcome. I want to see you, I want to greet you, and I want to be part of you again in a revealed way. Because every Jewish person has a connection and every Jew is close. It just has to be revealed within yourself that you have to create this arousal from below. And then all of a sudden the king is there, he's smiling, his countenance is happy, he's looking, he's waiting for you, he's saying, oh, when is this nice beautiful person going to come and, and greet me and say we're in the month of Elul now that we want to come home and we want to be part of you and we want to be part of the Jewish people again in, in a revealed sense and that uh, this, is, this is the most incredible thing. So God gives us of course his 13 attributes of mercy to arouse this and to, to bring it into reality and then on top of that he gives us a lot of mitzvahs, special mitzvahs in Elul. He gives us extra tehillim that we say, extra tzedakah that we give. He gives us slichot, the special prayers that we say. The Sephardic uh, people stay it starting already on Sunday. And uh, the Ashkenazim, we say it uh, later on in the month. But the whole month is connected with that, with introspection, making an account of your soul, spiritual inventory and going deeper and you know and the main thing it should be done with happiness with joy to know that we're part of the jewish people and we have a place and that we have homecoming right like they used to do in the college days the homecoming that this is the real homecoming that will go in and will greet the king in the field together and he'll be smiling he'll embrace us and he'll say I see that you did your work, you aroused, you aroused others, you helped others, and you brought everybody home, and now we're coming back to the Royal Palace in Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, and we'll be able to greet everybody and give everybody a signed and sealed for a good and a happy and a healthy year, 
and we're wishing everybody all the blessings for the new year and it should be only in a good and revealed way and with good health and happiness to all yours and your family and with God's help we'll hear good news in the Jewish people and safety on our southern border in the land of Israel and peace and God willing with uh, our holy army that will take control of it and will have all the good news that we need and with God's help it should be only good wishing everybody a Shabbat Shalom come to visit us we're waiting for you in Tzfat and we're wishing you all the best and good news and revealed in all possible ways. God bless you all.